What was it like back then living in D.C., being that type of family? Uh, well, D.C. is full of culture. It's uh, one of the melting pots in the United States, New York being the first. Mm -hmm. But there are all kinds of people that come to D.C. via embassies and the government as well. So um, it's very multicultural from the arts, et cetera. Being exposed to the arts, I met people from Africa mm -hmm. as well as Japanese. All, all of my arts classes were very versatile as well as multicultural. Mm -hmm. So it's very rich as far as it pertains to world, you know. Um, now growing up in the neighborhood was a little different. <laughs> mm -hmm. I grew up in predominantly a black community early in my childhood. And that got tough. I got teased a lot, you know, for the, the differences between my parents. And I used to get called jungle fever all the time. But everybody gets teased for something. Sure. So when you're growing into who you're going to be as an adult and you're listening to all kinds of influences, sometimes it really, really hurts if you're not strong enough as an individual or in your foundation. And I just remember my parents telling me that that's ignorant speaking and don't pay attention to it. You're beautiful the way you are and you were made out of love and that's all you need to, to know. Did you gravitate more towards, you know, having black friends, white friends or? Um, everyone was my friend. I wasn't yeah. prejudiced to anything. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I went to a predominantly black school early on in my childhood, um, elementary school in particular. So all of my friends were mostly black. Um, when I got into my after school activities, that was multicultural. So I had a great balance, but I was very close to both sides of the family. So, and grew up with both parents in the home, mm -hmm. which was a blessing. And I just never had the, uh, the outlook on segregation and I really didn't understand it based on skin color my father being a history major and mm. knowing about geography and how the the sun affects the melanin in the skin it's very ignorant when you hear people dividing other people because of color and that's how I was raised